so hello my dear students today we will analyze the government schemes uh what sort of government schemes we are being asked for the rbi grade the examination all right and we will analyze everything uh regarding the government schemes with respect to 2023 the government schemes that were asked in 2020 last year uh phase 1 examination we will discuss today's session with respect to this scheme see there are number of government schemes bachcho ka kya hota hai at the last moment they were quite confused that which type of schemes they should stress on what type of schemes they should they should study what type of schemes should be important for their examination it becomes nightmare for every aspirant most of the aspirants who are not very much updated with their current affairs all right so at when the time comes for in the examination time comes it becomes nightmare उनको डर लगने लगता है अरे यार ये गवर्नमेंट स्कीम नहीं किया ये गवर्नमेंट स्कीम छूट रहा है अगर ये इस तरह का क्वेश्चन आ गया अरे मैंने तो कुछ गवर्नमेंट स्कीम की है ही नहीं मेरे पास तो बंडल्स है आई हैव टू बंडल ऑफ टू हंड्रेड गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स दैट आर प्रोवाइडेड बाय बाय माय कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट कैसे रिवाइज करेंगे इतना ज्यादा गवर्नमेंट स्कीम फॉर गेट अबाउट इट डोंट एवर थिंक अबाउट इट ओके यू हैव टू फोकस ऑनली दो टाइप ऑफ स्कीम्स दैट वेर देयर इन दूज पेपर और those schemes which were there in the news in the last three or four months before the examination that is things you need to focus on that's it aapko is bachche ki taraf khush rehna hai you can see the logo beti bachao beti padhao kitne happy happy hai ye girl you need to be happy before the examination that no i have completed each sort of government schemes that were asked in the newspaper that were there in the news in last three to four months all right so uh let's analyze the uh about the government schemes see i have mentioned some of the government schemes related questions and what type of questions were asked in 2023 only so uh seeing the first scheme about the senior citizen saving schemes so what was there in the news at before the examination it was there in the news that that the, the this scheme this scheme is providing the highest interest rate of 8.2% For the quarter of July to September, means the second quarter for the financial year 23. All right. So the news, uh, the in the examination, the question had appeared that you need to identify that which scheme is providing the highest interest rate between in the second quarter. All right. Why this? They have asked this question because it was there in the news before the examination. See, this time also. Uh, All right. Let's see the second one. The government of India has launched a host of schemes to work towards the planned urbanization. Okay, identify the scheme which will launch in this regard for in the year 2015. So two type of questions were asked in this one question that about you need the schemes related with the urbanization, the planned urbanization, and the schemes which were not launched in 2015. All right. So and these were the options means you have to find out that in the combination either one or two is correct one or three is correct one four, four five is correct so if you are not very much sure about the year that when this scheme will launch don't try to attempt such question just leave it all right you might have idea that no amrut is related with the urbanization okay is mass city is plan But you don't know, na? If you are not, if you are confused with the year, because the second part of the question is what? That when it is launched. With regard to this only, you have to answer. So just leave such questions. See about the sovereign gold bond scheme. What they have asked? They have given the multiple statement descriptions, and one of the statement was the bond bear the interest rate of five point five percent. So if you are aware about the government gold 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 bond scheme, that you must know that. it is giving you the interest rate of 2.5% not 5.5% in the initial investment all right so see 5.5% is a very huge amount so ye sab cheez ko aware rehna hai aur aap dekhoge matlab this time also government uh, sovereign gold bond schemes was there in the news see on 31st of may 2024 only it had appeared in the newspaper that the investor bought more than Twenty-seven thousand crore. It is around twenty-seven thousand thirty-one crore. 
27,031 crore. All right. They have uh, invested about it in the financial year 24. That is 2023, 24. Okay. And this is four times. And this is four times higher than those which were brought in financial year 23. So such type of questions can be asked. They will hide this. They will ask this amount. That how much the government's bought from the sovereign, sovereign gold bond schemes. All right. So these type of things you have to keep in mind that before the examination, three, four months is enough in order to cover the schemes. See, another question they have asked about the national pension scheme. And the questions were picked up from the economic survey. All right. Last day economic survey related to the increase in subscription. That the subscription uh, in the NPS were increased. And you have to give by what percentage it has increased. All right, so the, the data were collected from the economic survey. They might collect the data from the budget, obviously, which will be uh, presented before your examination. And uh, from the annual report, lots of questions from RBI annual report uh, may come, came in your examination this year. So you need to figure out everything in, very, in a very like uh, in consolidated manner and in planned way so that you can attain and you can score like 40 to 45 marks in GA only. All right. Because this year the cutoff may get increased. In the, the last year the cutoff was 54.25. But we are not expecting such a low cutoff this year. Because the number of vacancies this year is going to be reduced. All right. So for the safer side, I will suggest you that try to cross at least 65 marks. And this will be only possible if you will score around 40 to 45 marks in GEO out of it. All right. So let's see the another scheme that were asked in the 2023 about the PM pushing rule. What, what, what type of questions? The question we are based on is component. The three types of components are there in the PM pushing rule, you know, and about its implementation. That when it is implemented and up to what time it will extend on. All right. This year also. It was there in the news. See, uh, somewhere I have mentioned like so I I have covered these things in the uh, current affairs session. Okay. PM pushing you now. All right. So this year also it was there in the news. So I have detailed covered the all the components, component A, B, and C about the its implementation see the another question from the smart city mission all right they have asked directly about the features of the scheme and this year also it was there in the news so such type of questions become important and you can see over here three days before on this today it is 7th of july okay and three days before it was there in the news that is smart cities mission extended till March 2025 means 31st of March 2025. Last year the questions were framed, and you need to you need to just look out these things because this news was already published in the PIB. So just see that is smart city when it is incepted in June 2015. Okay, and uh, competition among the cities of selection of 100 smart cities. They are there in the list. All right, more than. 8,000 multi-sectoral projects are to be developed in these 100 smart cities. All right. So these things you need to just uh, put out amounting to uh, around 1.6 lakh crore. Okay. So, uh, and till 3rd of July 2024, this point become important. That till 3rd of July 2024, the 100 cities have complete, completed around out of this they have completed 7,188 projects. Means 90% of the total projects. So remember 90% were achieved by July 2024. Alright. Uh, these things we have to keep in mind. And uh, see. It is now expected to be completed by 31st of March 2025. Uh, this is about the scheme. The smart city scheme. The another one that was there in the newspaper 
about the payment infrastructure development fund scheme. Okay, it was there in the news because it was it got extended for two more years till 2025. It was about to extend. All right, so it was there in the news before. That's why they have asked this question regarding the payment, and they have asked about its feature only. And UPI is always important. Always in there, it was there in the news. So just try to cover any sort of news related to your UPI, digital transaction, digital India. Just keep those things in your mind so that uh, it would be easier for you in order to uh, recall things uh, during the exam. See, uh, I have listed some uh, schemes that, that got the probability to be asked in this year, like Sukanya Sinmidhi Yojana. In the line of earlier, uh, last year only, Last year, it was like senior citizenship scheme. Okay. And this year, it had been appeared in the newspaper that Sukanya Sindhi Yojana interest rate regarding the interest rate. And uh, it was there in the news on, uh, I think, 2nd of July only. All right. So, uh, what, what was there in the news? That the scheme providing the highest interest rate of 8.2% for the second quarter, for the first as well as second quarter of financial year 2024. So such type of questions can be framed that you need to name the schemes, which is providing 8.2% of return uh, for the first as well as second quarter in financial year 2024. Okay, uh, about the smart city mission, it got extended. I have already shown PIB 3rd of uh, 3rd July PIB, it had appeared about the sovereign bond, uh, gold bond schemes record buying process the mark of 27031 crore okay see such that last year a question is uh, came from the uh, like uh, uh, tourism vessel uh, tourism vessel okay so uh, such type of questions we can never guess that what sort of ideal questions can came but those questions which are related to their like uh, emergency management, that is emergency management, disaster related management. It was there in the syllabus also, extended part of the syllabus. So you need to keep on eye that uh, and just figure out that who is who has launched it. That's it. Okay, if it is not directly related to your finance section, finance or uh, ESI section, then just remember the ministry or which organization has launched this program. So Bhuvan Panchayat was there in the news, the version 4.0, National Database for Emergency Management, version 5.0, and both were launched by ISRO. Uh, I have mentioned one, um, see here. It was there in the PID on 28th of June. All right, regarding this, that uh, ISRO is developed by the ISROs and Bhuvan Panchayat, portal in order to support support for decentralization of planning this support for decentralization planning and empower the citizens at the grassroots level in panchayat okay and what's the purpose of this ndem to provide spaceless input on natural disasters and aid in disaster risk reduction so in order to mitigate the disaster these things were launched by isro all right so, uh, and see, if Sukanya was there in the news, okay, so you need to actually, uh, you need to also know about the features of the scheme, the Sukanya Samvedi Yojana scheme. So, it was the scheme launched as a part of Veti Bacha Veti Padha campaign and just putting on the examples, some of the examples, so that you can understand that how you have to read this and why you have to read this scheme. Also. Why? What's the reason why you have to scheme, uh, read and how you have to. That's why I, I have given some, some sort of example that this scheme is basically in order to meet the education as well as marriage expenses as a girl child and about the eligibility. You have about the scheme, eligibility of the schemes and who is going to get the benefit at the end of the day. All right. Or what sort of uh, benefits are attached with that scheme. Uh, see eligibility uh, for those child which has not attained the age of 10 years 
they can open up this to the near some the uh, account schemes and uh, how much minimum investment would be rupees uh, 250 per annum and the maximum would be 1.5 lakh per annum and uh, after maturity only they will get out uh, get this amount okay and these are like after maturity on maturity these are tax free tax free okay uh, means you don't have to pay the tax on the principal as well as interest amount the benefit holder so these were certain uh, sort of things that you need to understand about this scheme see post office time deposit scheme this was also there in the news on 3rd of june okay last year they have asked the other news this time they may ask about this scheme so you need to uh, studies these schemes in such form like about the scheme offered by whom india post payment banks the features of this scheme that the maturity period is either one year two years three years, and five years and it allows the deposit from one thousand to uh, one thousand in the multiple of hundred all right and you can get the tax benefit for five year account holder under HTCC of income tax okay. uh, you can book the tax benefit all right so uh, another i have discussed these schemes see it was there in the news another scheme the school in in a box for children in assam flood relief fund it is very very important scheme all right why because see uh, it was launched in the disaster uh, in the um, like disaster prone area in the Assam recently, when it was facing the flood, and it had appeared in on 20, June 2024. Okay, so what is this scheme is all about? School in a box. Let's try to understand. This designed by UNICEF. Remember this point. Who has designed designed it? UNICEF, and for the children age group between six to eighteen years. Okay, in order to why in order to ensure education continuity despite displacement and trauma okay so such type of things you need to understand about the scheme where it is prioritizing compassion and care equity inclusion responsibility and accountability empathy and support sustainability so in this way you can cover a scheme holistically so that so that kisi bhi tarah ka question you can be in the comfortable position to answer it. All right. Let's talk about one more scheme, which uh, the great scheme. See, great scheme. They can ask the full form of this scheme in the exam. Grant for research and entrepreneurship across aspiring innovators in technical textile. See, very complicated. And if they will ask that, which ministry has launched this great scheme? Hey, it is Ministry of Textile. Okay. It was there in the newspaper. IIT Guwahati has introduced geotextiles in civil engineer curriculum with support of NTT, NTTM. All right. Uh, National uh, Technical Textile Missions. So these things we need to keep uh, keep tracking about the uh, about the schemes, and it will definitely going to benefit. So uh, if you like this session, okay, do press the like button. If you have not subscribed our channel, subscribe it and share such videos, this is videos with your friends so that they will also get benefit from this. And if you want me to continue such series over the schemes, then you can put your comment in the comment section. That's all for today. Thank you very much.